in from the heat. It is extreme heat out here in California and here at our home lately and it is sweeping the nation and with some very, very important information about heat strokes in our pets. We welcome Chief Veterinarian Officer of the Lucy Pet Foundation, Dr. Karen Helligan. Welcome Thank back, you. Doc. I want to say what's up, Doc, but um, <laughs> that seems a little bit uh, over the top. Okay. Heat stroke is a very serious subject matter yes. for, for animals. How do we identify that? Well, I want to introduce, this is Ricky and Tyler from the Lucy Pet Foundation. So they came cute. to help me talk about some of the tips. But, you know, heat stroke is preventable. I mean, and also, do you think these guys have sweat glands? No, they don't. They don't. So how do they lose heat is by panting through their nose and their pets. And I brought Tyler. He's what we call a brachycephalic. So he's a pushed-in face, like yeah. Shih Tzu, Bulldogs, and... Mark. He has a harder time uh, panting. Like you have a golden retriever. Yes. And your dog can pant. Oh, and yeah. he loses heat that way. These dogs have a hard time. Pushed in those cats like uh, Persians also have a harder time and are more susceptible. But can I ask you something? When the dogs are panting like this, yes. and when Fred pants and my dogs yes. usually pant, doesn't mean that they're overheated, does Correct. it? Correct. Okay. Because yes. I used to get very confused yes. and say, is my dog too hot? Yes. No, they're sweating like you know, we would yeah. be sweating. They're panting. But when does it get excessive? Temperatures over 104. Right now, his is probably about 100. His is 101. Air conditioning. So, yes, we yeah. are in there. But once it's over 104, that's dangerous. For the and, animal. Yes. And then they'll start to, the tongue will get brick red. And they'll really, oh. <laughs> like that, as hard as they can. Then they'll act kind of disoriented, oh. vomit bloody diarrhea, they'll pass out and then they can die. Small dog and big dog affected differently? No, uh, it, they are affected the same, but older dogs, mm. dogs that are overweight, younger animals are more susceptible. Mm -hmm. How can we tell if the asphalt, like you showed us, yes. or our yeah. cars, yes. or anywhere, cars. is yes. just yes. too All hot the cars for the dogs? Every year. What is That's too hot? What yeah. is too hot? Well, How first, you get an easy test is put your hand on the pavement. If you can rest it there comfortably for a couple seconds, you're fine. Or you can whip out this <laughs> handy laser. This is a laser thermometer, and it actually, you just shoot it, press, Boom, 77 degrees on the floor. Right. These are, we did it earlier today. It was 130. 130. Yeah. And yeah. 120 to 150 is the danger zone for the pavement that your pets are yeah. going to burn their pads, and I've seen in my 30-year career so many animals, they're all four pads are just burned off, second-degree burn. It's worth noting, I think, with those, because they are laser, they are laser oh, accurate. Look, there it is, yeah. got, and that's, that's mild. That's yeah. terrible. That was, no, back to what I was saying, those lasers oh, yes. are laser pinpoint accuracy, so make sure you're pointing it Oh, yeah. At the at the actual asphalt, not missing and hitting the grass. That's yeah. true. And, and yeah. in your car, the same thing. It'll read in, it in your car. car. Yeah, the cars yeah. are just they're like saunas. I, sit in the car for a few minutes, I you guys. Know. I yeah. encourage everybody because in a few minutes, right. you just you feel like you're being suffocated. Children. Will they tell you? Will the dogs react in a certain way to tell you Good that it's point. like too hot? Yes, when they're walking on the pavement, they'll be like this. Oh. Ah, yeah. ah, and you, you got to look at that. Okay, so I watch Fred and I watch him move yes. throughout the house. It's hardwood floor. <laughs> yes, but he'll go from maybe laying right. in the rug and, he'll, right. uh, and then he's on the hardwood floor or right. if I have the mm -hmm. windows open Same there's a breeze. Cool. Yeah. Yes. That's, I, I assume that he's trying to stay cool. He is. He's looking for a soft place. So what you should do, I mean a, a cold place, buy him a thermo bed. <gasps> this is a thermo so bed. Cool. Yes. And what it does is it has those little beads in it. Yeah. And you don't even have to put that in the refrigerator. It's motion activated. So if somebody what? lays on that, mm. it wow. gets cold. And these are really nice. They really work. They also have pads adds that uh cool on, sure. the, on the floor as so well. So they have big ones, I hope, because Fred yeah. would Yes. Oh, he wouldn't fit in that? He wouldn't fit on yeah. that one, no. He's a he monster. Would, he, Do you he have one for Mark? Mark? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mark? He no, also enjoys that. So look, I want, I look, I like, Fred needs his exercise, yes. and he's yes. losing weight. I'm happy to say he's yes. losing his weight. Oh, good. But if it's hot, and I'm taking him outside. Yeah. Yes. And that uh, pavement's hot, and we live How? in L.A., there's yes. not we a lot of places. Go down. How are you going to avoid them burning and, there? And you know what? You can buy booties for all sizes, itty-bitty to big. So what you want to do is take him to a store, pet store, because uh -huh. you want to make sure they fit him. And so I... Um, can he go down? 
Um, no, no, we'll keep them okay. up here. Keep them so up. what you do is really easy to put these on. You basically just put it over the. <laughs> Kim has now, a full time job. Yeah. She said. This, Tyler this is now. the really? first time he's ever worn a, uh, the booties. You guys yeah. so took him to the store. Oh, Tyler, Aww. we got you the color that you like. He wanted blue. Blue is his color. Yeah. Blue. So yeah. You know what? Yeah. Debbie wears is the same thing. Exactly. I feel the same. Right. I wear those color? to work. Yeah. Well, I wear the little booties <laughs> yeah. from the trailer yeah. to the house all the time. And then you just put that on like that. You got to make sure it's snug. Well, I know. Um, I but that's going to protect them from that asphalt because yeah. at, at that temperature, it doesn't take long. And when they're red, oh. Yes, yes. Hey, can I ask you something else about this, by the way? It, I have been hiking before where I saw dogs that should not be out. And yes. the dog was yeah. overheated and it was clearly getting heat exhaustion. Running. I was lucky enough to have one of those things with me because I had a dog that oh, the, the traveling water, water bowl. Yes. I poured the water on top of the dog because oh. he wouldn't drink it. Is that the right thing to do? Yes, that's even better than trying to get him to drink because at that point they're disoriented and they're not going to drink. You want to get water on them as fast as possible. If you have towels, you're going to throw them in the back seat of the car, wet the towels, put the towels on them. The towels will get hot in a second because they're absorbing all that heat. So yes, hose them down if you can, pour water on them. Well, Fred is one of these dogs that will, because I got kind him of a big water dish because he's I, big. Well, he's big, but yeah. I, during the yes. summer, and then he knocks it and he yes. it spills right. all over. Yeah. Do you have a plunger at home? Well, I I don't want to say that I have toilet problems, what? but yes, I do have a plunger at home. Okay. okay. <laughs> well, no need to embarrass him. Yeah, you're no, exactly. No embarrass so him. this we is got easy here. because <laughs> do you have a bun pan? You you look like you bake. So you just oh, you put a plunger, a plunger, and then you press that down, and you put the bunk pan just like that, <gasps> oh so that God. they can't knock it off. Isn't that and then genius? out in the yard, oh my that God. just unscrew really? this. This is genius, what's, right? Look at Ricky. Awesome. What's that, Ricky? And then you put it in there, and then just stake oh it in the oh ground, gosh. and then they won't knock that it over. How brilliant is that? Yeah, because he will, he will get in there and he starts taking, yeah. and then and they knock. Or if you have more than one dog and they're running around the house, they'll knock it over. Yeah. Speaking of that, speaking of water. Signs yes. of dehydration? Yes. Because heat stroke is different than dehydration. Mm -hmm. Correct. What are we dehydration looking for? Dehydration is going to lead to heat stroke. That's an animal who is doesn't have enough water to help cool themselves off so in that's the body coming already. First. Yes. Our first. So let's say your dog's a little dehydrated and you go for a little hike. You're setting yourself up for a pet to get heat stroke. So easy to tell. Just lift up his lip and you can even check it on yourself. See? Uh -huh. Check okay. your own lens. It's moist, right? You're not yeah. dehydrated, oh, I think are you? Yeah. Okay. Dehydrated. And you see how <laughs> moist his is? Ricky's kind of moist. Oh. When they're dehydrated, it'll be dry and tacky, and their lips oh, will dear. even get stuck. You get caught up like that? Yes, and so that's a sign your pet needs fluid. What about their coat? I'm really, will they, will really tired. You? <laughs> yes, and there is a coat test. You're right, especially with the cat. So I have the harness on, but you lift this up, and see how it goes right back? Right back yeah. Where I'm lifting it up, and it just goes right back. But the cat that's dehydrated, you'll lift that up, and it'll literally sit like a oh tent, my goodness. Oh. just like that. Yes. How quickly, if this does happen to pets this summer, which unfortunately it happens all summer in Southern yes. California, how quickly do you need to get your pet to a vet to get um, fluids pumped back in them before it's dangerous? Well, as soon as possible. So, I mean, it does depend on, like a dog that's 100 in temperature of 3 or 104 versus 107, you know, those 107 we need to put an IV in. Yeah. But dogs are just a little dehydrated, a little overheated. We put fluids right under the skin. They have a subcutaneous area. We can just put some fluids just like that. 